Hello, sir. Welcome to the United Kingdom. That's right. We've made it safely. We're in London. <laughs> First time in Europe, all of us. Yay! Just landed in London. I just got off the plane. I am so tired, you guys. Oh my god. Snap. I've never seen Victoria Station so peaceful. Good morning and welcome to London. Got myself a noise to call. We're still trying to find our way, but I don't know. It's so cool to be here. Literally the biggest canal system. Like more impressive than the pyramids. Here we are. This is amazing. This is like stereotypical UK. Here we are. We are officially in London and this is our hotel room. I had a rough day traveling from five in the morning. Um, but basically I arrived to Baker Street and I was already in love with London. The view is just insane. Look at that. Is that the Shard? And we got this really dope view of this new building called the Shard, which I had never heard of until, until today. Tallest building apparently in the UK. So I just got to my Airbnb. It's this adorable, adorable little apartment in Shoreditch. And apparently Shoreditch was the cool place to stay. London, you do know how to woo, girl, with your magnificent weather. Oh, the sun is shining, it's still cold, but it's not as cold as in the Netherlands yesterday. It's nice, it's nice. It's so cool, I can actually feel the history. You see all the old buildings, all the really cool architecture. Just look how gorgeous all this is. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you couldn't tell, I've never been to the UK before. I've been to France. And so I've seen something similar to this. And actually, if you go to the very east coast of Canada, Quebec City, um, there's really, really old architecture just like there was in France. Okay. So, we do have some of this in Canada, but a very, very small part. And today is a really great day here in London, starting off at a random park. Pretty famous park here in uh, London. I was hoping to finally get into this place, but it looks like these gates are just super tall. I don't see any real practical way around it, uh, unless there's, oh, there's, there's Paul. Uh, never mind. We're in front of the um, Palace of Westminster. All of it is Palace of Westminster. Uh, according to several signs, and Paul as well, uh, this is the Houses of Parliament. Just got to Big Ben, as you can see behind me. Apparently it's just the bell inside, not actually the clock. Hey everyone, here we are. We're at like the typical telephone booth. I'm and touching Big Ben. Ben. <laughs> Meet my friend, this is Ben. It's quite big. I'll stop, I promise I won't do that again. Is that the prime angle? You get the double clock. Sato Rodiga. I'm gonna go see the Tower of London, which I'm so excited. I had no idea that it was like a castle. I had no idea that it used to be like the royal residences. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go do the tour at 10 a.m. I'm gonna go there right at the crack of the opening. Tower of London, everyone. Tower of London. Looks kind of like a prison, actually. Be great for the zombie apocalypse, though. Look! It's a real castle! I didn't know! I'm gonna go in! I'm so excited, I think I'm gonna cry. We finally are here in the Tower Bridge. So beautiful. Back on the tube, back on the tube. We're on the underground. Just 
putting it all in. It's so beautiful. I love it. Honestly, it's amazing. So, this is Trafalgar Square. Beautiful lions there. Live music. You try and catch me. by Trafalgar Square on our way to Buckingham Palace. And I don't know if you guys remember, but in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, there was like a really gnarly grind path all the way around there. I don't know, some of you guys might be too young, but... That's Trafalgar Square. Oh, yes. God bless the colony. We're gonna find a pub. Let's find a pub. Let's find some food. I'm gonna grab a quick pint here. A pint in the middle of London. If you guys are looking for a cool bar, came to the Admiralty. It's right across from Trafalgar Square. Found a pub. Everything looks delicious. You have fish and chips. You're... That's like a whole thing. Yeah. I needed a burger in my life. Yes. Now we're finding some food because we're so hungry. We're going to Mildred. 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 <laughs> um, which is all vegan. They have like vegan burritos, vegan nachos. All right, we're getting some Turkish food. Turkish food. Let's get going. Brezos. I think it's what it's called. Very fancy. Oh, She's cutting <laughs> We are grabbing some Indian food. We stumbled upon it, but it looks good. This place is really cool, you guys. So, Kaz, tell them where we are right now. With the shard on the 32nd floor, about to have some Chinese dinner. Yay! Oh my god, look how beautiful this view is. I cannot handle it. We are now going to the Camden Market. We're on our way to Camden Town. Anybody want a matrix coat? <laughs> Camden lock, baby. And donuts, baby. Where do you want? All kinds. Look at this. Look at this. This is like massive. This is my head. Holy snap. One of the best things about Camden Town is the food. Like you have so much variety. Look, look. Mexican Grill over here. And like earthing, earthing. I see Moroccan. I see Chinese food. I see Ooh, Indian food. It's like the cutest living room slash vintage shop where you can just sit and chill. This is really my kind of jam. I love these kind of places. All right, niche first scone ever and first scone ever in London. Take it. Good? No way. Wow. <laughs> this is the place we're going for tea. Today we are doing a tour of the St. Paul's Cathedral. So here we are now in the St. Paul Cathedral. And just to start off, I'll just give you a fun fact that the architect of this building is actually buried under the, under the actual building. I think Christ, Christopher Wren. That's what I'm trying to find. St. Paul's Cathedral. This, this trip is just all about you, isn't it? What can I say? I'm famous. Now we're going to the Millennium Bridge to actually see it from the bridge point of view. Such a lovely, quaint little street. All the streets here in Chelsea are just like absolutely gorgeous. So look at this street though. Beautiful. Look at that. This is what I take to get to my engine ship. This road. Yeah. Can't stop filming this guy. <laughs> Do you like the movie? What's happening there? Football game. It's same. We're so close to Shoreditch, which is one of the awesome neighborhoods in London. I love it. And every time I came to London, I was like, oh, I wish I could stay in Shoreditch, but usually the hotels are quite expensive. And now. 
Here we are. This guy is indeed the coolest ever. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Get it, dude! Get it! Get it! Ah! We have been played by London. You're London, you're too cool for us. Like. <laughs> and this, my friends, is the river Thames. The Thames. It's spelled differently than it sounds. And uh, now we're about to hit up the London Eye, right? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. We are going on the London Eye, and then we're looking like so extra for going on <laughs> a Ferris wheel. This thing's huge. The diameter is like 120 meters. Humongous. Right now, we are walking to Buckingham Palace. I think we're like, I don't know, five minutes away. So we just arrived to the Buckingham Palace. Wow. And we meet tourists taking pictures. Me and Paul are in London. And that is Buckingham Palace. Good old Buckingham Palace. That was the most American pronunciation of Buckingham Palace. Here the queen is uh, sitting on her throne right now. Here at the Buckingham Palace. Waiting for the ceremony. Someone, someone's trying to breach the uh, breach the gates. This lady is totally trying to bust into Buckingham Palace. But I think yeah, the, the guards seem pretty intimidated, so they're gonna let her in. Oh, look at that. That's fancy. All right, well. God help the queen. God help her. This is the Buckingham statue. Buckingham statue with golden guy on the top. Uh, oh. uh, I see a butt. There's definitely a butt. What the hell are you doing here, Mickey? Going up on the gondola. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. And the clouds right now look so beautiful. So beautiful. Boxes. It's pretty amazing. I really like it. You know, the type of how they are laying on each other. Look behind us, yeah. there's actually a telephone booth. Isn't that cool, you guys? Oh. Look at the cars. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Here's the famous walkway that the Beatles did in their album. We just did it and someone photobombed your picture. Right here is actually a Banksy graffiti piece, but as you can see, it's protected behind this sheet of plastic. Yep, plastic. Um, I guess some hooligans came and tried to smash it up. So Jordan's making me go to King's Cross to do the Harry Potter no, like. I sound like a douchebag. Can't say that. So Jordan's making me go to the head. No! You want to see it too. I don't want to see it that bad. Yeah, huh? You no. looked it up. You're the one who found it. Oh, it's Slytherin. I didn't know there was a wand. What? Can I do one with a wand? Oh my gosh. Okay, thank yeah. you. This is a beautiful city. Good job, London. You're awesome. So oh, this is probably the saddest thing I'm ever going to say. It's our last weekend in London! Uh, why aren't you guys more sad? But what was your favorite part of London? The neighborhoods. Walk around neighborhoods. Yeah. Checking out different areas. The architecture was pretty nice too. Yeah, the architecture is amazing. Everything is like from a movie. Walking down Earl's Court Road. For the last time. For the last time. And also the people were so nice, right? Like the customer service here is... Yeah. I love the vibe of London. The people are so friendly and funny and helpful. Every single person I've encountered today 
just made me smile and lifted my mood. Oh my gosh, London, I can't handle your coolness. Your coolness is too much. You should tell him, tell him. <laughs> first time, fell in love. Yeah. Yeah, it's his first time in London, actually. He's never been. You like it? Nice, I love it. Yeah, me too.